Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Lauren Warner, the CEO of Tarachi Gold Corp. How are you doing today, Lauren? Hey, I'm not doing too bad since it looks like we still have summer happening in Kamloops, where I live right now. So Kamloops is beautiful. Kamloops is gorgeous, beautiful. So hopefully we can maintain this Indian summer. I hope so. We'll see what now, happens. Yeah. Now, I'm really excited to speak to you today about Tarachi Gold Corp. It's a junior exploration company focused on a gold project in Mexico. Can you give us a brief rundown about the Tarachi Gold Project and the region? Yes. Tarachi Gold Corp is a junior miner exploration company focusing in the Sonora state, which is in northwestern Mexico. This is a state uh, area that's known for prolific gold and silver deposits. I mean, when you want to explore somewhere or look for deposits, just like when I work for the big companies and everything else, go to where they, they exist. <clears throat> this area has known to produce, has resources and all the way up to reserves and, and have been mined up to close to 80 million ounces of gold. I understand about a billion and a half ounces of silver. So wow. if you want to be, if you want to find these things, and, and you would think that maybe the whole area has been well explored. And just as I've learned in other areas that I've worked at, Timmins Porcupine Camp, for example, gastroenterologic break, I mean, no, uh, there's still lots that can be done there. So it's, it's an exciting place to be. Great. And what differentiates Tarachi Gold Corp, Gold Group from other junior exploration companies in Mexico? Um. Well, see, I joined the company this spring, and the reason I joined the company was basically threefold. Uh, I'm a geologist by trade, uh, and, and, but, you know, the, they have good, man have good management in Vancouver. And, but the other thing, though, is the management they have in Mexico. You got to well, – I've worked internationally for many years. I've spent like six years in West Africa. I've worked in other countries. If you don't have good management in those countries, you're going to fail. They have great management in Mexico. With COVID happening and everything else, we've been able to still keep working, uh, at working at a good pace. And just as one example, like in British Columbia, for example, it can take like up to a year to get a drill permit. Mexico, it's not so bad. You know, four months, that's, that's quite reasonable. Wow. Uh, our, our crews were able to get it for us in five weeks. Oh, wow. That's impressive. So, I mean, that just shows you exactly what they can do the management we have down there. And of course, my third item, of course, is the geology, the, the properties that they acquired. Each one of these properties has had some work on them, uh, whether it, or local, a little bit of you know, artisanal mining or local miners. Uh, and some of these properties, you know, one or two, a couple of drill holes with some very good intercepts and nothing to follow up on them. You know, an example, you have a hole that ran close to an ounce of gold over five meters has not really been followed up so much. I mean, there's another one 100, 200 meters away with similar grades, no drill holes between, no drill holes down dip or up dip from those holes. So that's the great thing. We can uh, step onto these things and uh, get going fairly quickly. Now, Tarachi commenced a 5,000 meter diamond drill program at the end of August after receiving impressive channel results. Can you tell us a bit about those results and the drill program? Yeah, so because we've been able to work down in Mexico, we have a very senior geological team in place down there. And one of the first things we wanted to do, again, these properties have had some work on them, some systematics, but I wanted more detail. We're, we're in the right terrain. This is, we're in the right trend. We have, these are epithermal, high sulfidation type gold deposits, basically where we're, we're focusing on. But I wanted more once you're in the right rock type, it comes down to, for me anyways, if you want to say a bias, it's like real estate, you know, location, location, location. When it comes to, once you're in the right rock types, it's structure, structure, structure. So I had these guys go out. We want to do more, more structural analysis. What you're looking for is the intersection of maybe two more, dom two dominant structures. I mean, uh, north-south, for example, versus a north-west uh, training structure. Areas where these things inter intersect each other would are a logical place for mineralization to, to occur. So we want to do all this work. Down at uh, La Dura, which is the uh, big uh, sample where we had 62 and a half meters of, I think it was around six grams. I mean, that was channel sampling underground. 
and some historic you know, area uh, that's been mined where we channel sample river saws continuously. First time that that's been done. Put the system together, what's going on? And what we found, for example, there is you have a lot of east-west trending structures that are mineralized with a very steep south dip. Uh, a lot of the drilling in the area was east-west, so they would not have to actually hit these things. And one of the one things about Ladura, of course, is we're only six kilometers west of the Malatos mine in production. So, you know, you step outside and you can you can see the mine, you can see everything that's going on. So proximity, proximity to a large deposit is very key. Absolutely. Now, Tarachi Gold has quite an impressive roster of experts. Who are your key members and what do they bring to the table? The, yeah, again, like the management we have in Vancouver, the board of directors, we have a lot of people that, you know, 10, 20 years, 30 years of experience uh, in terms of mineral exploration or mining. You have people that, uh, you know, have been around, some of them have worked in Mexico, Tim, for Tim, companies such as Timmins Gold Pass, although it says Timmins Gold, they were working in Mexico. Um, and, uh, you know, even myself, I, I worked for the majors for, for a, a, a long time. I worked in Aranda. I worked for Placerdome. I did work in the mines. I, I, I've got open pit experience. I have underground mining experience and development experience. I, I brought some projects along in development stages, but I'm an explorationist. Exploration is, is the fun. If you're, <laughs> for a geologist, exploration is the most fun. It's Christmas when those that drill core is coming out. You see, you see what's going on, right? Oh, I bet that's that's your game, right? That's your love. That's your passion. Totally. So, as well, we, we, that's just the start. Is the is the uh, the diamond drilling the five thousand meters, you know? But and 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 then the people that we have. More importantly, is the management again we have down in in, in Mexico. They really can help us move along quickly efficiently, you know, get our money, our dollars spent in the ground. Okay, so that's, that's, that's key. So the, the people we have down there and the, the, the geologists that we have um, just means that we can motor along even with COVID uh, as it is today. Now, what should investors look out for for Tarachi Gold in the coming months? Well, great question because we're well financed right now. We have just under maybe $10 million Canadian in the treasury. We have a 5,000 meter program that's been initiated and going right now. But I've been in the business for, uh, for some time. I've gone through several gold bull markets. This one that we're about to have is going to be fantastic. And the reason I say that is because I work for the majors. They been, they're mining five, maybe 10 million ounces of gold a year. Are they replacing those? No. The, the, that pipeline has, was broken a long time ago. So there's, there's the fact that they don't come up with, they're not really coming up with new ounces. They just keep merging together. Uh, this gold market started before COVID. Okay, it was starting to happen before COVID. But COVID coming along and all these governments just peeling out the dollars to everyone. I mean, it's, it's the magical recipe. I mean, it just, it's a fact of what's going to happen with gold and with silver you know, precious metals. And some of the other, uranium is going to do well too in a few years. You know, all these things, commodities are going to be coming on. So um, Trachi you know, is, is well positioned, but for all the preamble I just said, the main thing here is you still have an opportunity to find projects. So although we're an aggressive company on, 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 t on what we have, we are still very much on the hunt because time soon enough in time, there's not going to be anything available that at a, at a, at a decent price. So I'm saying that, you know, we're evaluating things. We're focusing mainly in Mexico. Um, so other exploration plays, but because we also have a pretty senior staff and, and people around us that we can uh, count on or use, uh, I, we're not leaving open just exploration plays, but potential production plays are also on the table. So what I'm trying to say, long-winded to you, is that, yes, we're going to have drill results coming up. We're going to be drilling all the way to Christmas. But there's a lot more going on behind the scenes. And, you know, we're, we're working as hard as we can on, on things. And the company is, is looking at other potential acquisitions, including towards development. 
That's great. That sounds very exciting. We have investors all over the world that are going to be learning about your company because of this video. How can investors get in touch with you if they want to learn more about the company? Where do they go? I, I would say basically go to Tarachi's website, Tarachi uh, Gold Corp. Um, and on there, there's contact information to uh, actually, uh, I think my phone number is even on there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> An email. And you know, this, I, I like it. I've had people contacting me that have worked in the area or know a few things. And we have some great conversations because they know a lot of things um, that very helpful. I mean, in terms of talking about their drilling programs, how was the core recovery, you know, and, and all these things are very helpful, you know, and, and uh, as news comes out and we can keep upgrading the website and everything else, there'll probably be a lot more questions coming forward that hopefully I, I can answer. I'd be quite happy to. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you very much for being on Rich TV Live with us today. Our entire community, including myself, will be watching your story evolve. Thank you for joining us, Lauren Warner, the CEO of Tarachi Gold Corp. Thanks, Lauren. Well, thank you for having me on. I wish you the best of luck. Thank cool. you very much. Have yourself a great day. Well, thank you. Please take care. Bye-bye.